Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. Okay guys, going to be doing a little bit of an introduction here to a product. I have recently bought a new refrigerator freezer and I know it's always very exciting when you, at first, initially when you buy a new appliance, you know, you get to know the product, all the bells and whistles of the product, all that good stuff, you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and get started here. I bought my refrigerator. It is a Whirlpool. I bought it at Lowe's. And I have noticed that I bought it at my local store. And my store was actually um, more money than what's online. But now that I look online here, it looks like you get a cheaper price. Uh, yeah, I paid three something thousand dollars for it. But anyhow, um, it looks like they got it on for... Looks like right now it's $2,198 and I'm assuming, I think shipping would be free, I think, I think, I think, but you do have to pay tax. So it would be, yeah, that price plus sales tax, uh, depending on wherever you live, you know what I mean, your location. Uh, but anyhow, this is the name of the product here. It is the Whirlpool 25.8 cubic feet French door refrigerator with dual ice maker. It's monochromatic stainless steel. There is the model number right there. Okay, so that's the exact one I got. And I tried to film a video a few times over. I tried to film a video a few times over, you guys. Uh, and I don't know. It, it just it did not work out. I guess it was just maybe the lighting. Who knows? It just kind of turned out. Yeah, icky. Anyhow, um, this is uh, one of the three-door refrigerators, uh, French door. Yes, it's a French door refrigerator, but it's one of the three-door refrigerators. has the one large freezer door at the bottom, and then the two smaller uh, drawers on top, and then the two doors. So the two doors, the two drawers, and then the one large freezer drawer at the bottom. So... A uh, little bit different from all the ones that I've been looking at lately because I did do a little bit of shopping around and comparisons and, you know, all that good stuff. So I did like the concept of it having the two drawers and then the larger freezer drawer at the bottom for a total of three drawers at the bottom and then the two doors on top. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, see what else I could tell you about it. You know, so far so good. It is a huge refrigerator. It, it really holds a lot of food. I've actually, uh, I don't even have it filled up maybe one or two percent to capacity. I can't even imagine uh, getting that much food at once. You know what I mean? Because it holds that much. So if you have a large family, it will really hold a lot of food, you guys. It really, really, really will. You would get a lot of um, space out of it, a lot of depth out of it. Uh, quite honestly, when I open the doors on it, I have a little bit of trouble. My arms are not even really physically long enough to reach in the back and grab something. So it holds a heck of a lot of food. I definitely recommend if you have a large family, you have maybe teenagers or, you know, uh, kids that love to eat or a large family in general or anything like that, you will definitely do great with this refrigerator. It is really is huge. And, uh, you know, like I said, I did a lot of shopping around and comparisons. And I looked at a lot, uh, everything they had on the sales floor at, you know, not only Lowe's, but Home Depot and other places as well. And um, it, it's a super, it's, it has a lot of depth inside this refrigerator and freezer. It is super huge. It really, really is. And it seems to be a lot larger on the inside compared to other models. You know what I mean? So... Not sure how well we're doing here just viewing stuff on the iPad. I don't know if we're going to get a lot of glare or backlash action. Hopefully not. I'm going to include the link down below obviously to Lowe's and you can, you know, read about it, click on all the links, look at it. Huge refrigerator. Seems to be a good refrigerator so far. It really freezes up my ice cream nice and and uh, well, you know what I mean, without freezer burn on the in the freezer section. And um, yeah, everything's refrigerating well. And um, it seems to have a lot of bells and whistles on it. And I've got to really get used, um, you know, more used to whatever the bells and whistles are. There are the measurements on it. Not sure if you guys can see or not. I know that uh, some people need to be able to get this between cabinets or, uh, you know, limited space or anything like that. It is, it's a good size unit. It really is. It's not huge, 
but the inside is where the space comes into play. The outside of it, so to speak, does not look huge, but the inside is just massive. And you can just click on, basically, you know, not sure if you guys can even see any of that with the glare. Uh, seems to be a good unit so far. Really enjoying it. It's obviously very pretty. It's stylish. It's going well with my kitchen. It looks great. Loving it so far. Okay, guys? So, if you're in the market for a new refrigerator, uh, freezer, refrigerator slash freezer, French door unit, be sure to check out the Whirlpool 25.8 cubic feet French door refrigerator with dual ice maker, monochromatic stainless steel. There's the model number, you guys. Anyhow, I'm just going to try to um, at least take a few pictures of it, get a few shots of it, maybe a few quick videos of it, let you guys know exactly what it looks like. Okay, take care now. Bye.